Hello students. In this video, we will speak about studying an another virulence factor, which is also an enzyme, which is hemolysin. Normally, hemolysin is detected on blood agar. Superimposed blood agar is made use of in this particular experiment. Superimposed blood agar is nothing but blood which has been added to nutrient agar after autoclaving and then mixed well and poured in the form of plates. So you get proper uh, blood agar. But along with testing for hemolysin on superimposed blood agar, you could also th do this testing in tubes. For which you will have to make 2% RBC suspension. So uh, you have to take blood and you have to put it in sterile saline. Okay, and uh, this is how it's going to look like. It looks cherry red in color. So I will be dispensing 3 ml of these into sterile suspension tubes and I will be inoculating around 0.1 ml of the culture suspension which I want to test for for the presence of hemolysin. Post doing this inoculation of the bacterial suspension into this RBC uh, suspension or uh, you know that I have made, I will incubate it at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Post which we will see if the RBCs settle down effectively. If they are not settling down effectively uh, and if you see the entire suspension to be red in color, it's an indication that the cells have lysed. Okay, and uh, if, if you are able to see that the cells settle at the bottom effectively, it is an indication that the cells have uh, not lysed. Okay, now uh, in case of beta hemolysin, you would also see that if the cells are lysed, uh, the hemoglobin that is released is used and you will see that the solution becomes completely clear. Okay, so I'll be inoculating this now and let us see how it appears after 24 hours. So for this, I have made a uh, four culture suspension. I have made a culture suspension of uh, streptococcus pyogens. I have made a culture suspension of alpha hemolytic strain, which is not identified, but we know that it shows alpha hemolysis. Also, we have made suspension of E. coli, and finally, a suspension of S. formulas. So we will be inoculating all these on SIBA as well as into the RBC suspension and we will see how it looks like. So I am here after 24 hours of incubation of the tube hemolysis experiment. The first thing that I have done is I have centrifuged all the tubes at around 1000 rpm for 3 minutes post which we are going to observe the tubes. So let me first show you the control tube. So control tube is that tube which contains only the RBC suspension and it does not contain any organism. So we do not expect any hemolysis in it. So when you centrifuge what will happen is that all the RBCs are going to settle at the base and the solution above is going to look very clear. Okay, so if you look at this tube, this is the control tube and you can very clearly see that uh, the cells are not uh, hemolyzed and uh, the cells have settled to the bottom as a button while the solution above, the suspension above is completely clear, which is a clear cut indication that hemolysis has not taken place. Okay, while if you see the other tubes in comparison to this, if you see the tube of a strain which I know is alpha hemolytic, you can see that uh, the entire solution has turned red. So if you compare both of this, I think it is very clear uh, that this particular strain, which uh, we feel is alpha hemolytic, is uh, indeed carrying out hemolysis. Though it's going to be very difficult to differentiate between alpha hemolysis and beta hemolysis in the tube test, but evidently we can see that the cells are not intact and the cells have been hemolyzed. You can also see uh, that the suspension containing E. coli and S. aureus, uh, both of this is also completely hemolyzed. You can see that the entire tube has turned out to be red and it remains red even after centrifugation, which is an indication that the RBCs have been lysed. And finally, uh, there is also S. pyogenes and in this also you can see that uh, the cells have been completely lysed. Right. So when you see all the tubes with respect to the control, you will realize that uh, 
all the strains, all four strains, S biogenes, S aureus, E coli, and alpha hemolytic strain, all of these are carrying out evident hemolysis and uh, that indicates that they are producing hemolysin. So this is how all the tubes look like. Uh, you can see very clearly that the control tube is clear while rest all are completely red in color.